First Coast's most accurate forecast from the First Coast News Weather Team, certified by Weather Rate, sponsored by AC Designs. Well, let's take a look at the beach. In my opinion, for the uh, warm weather lovers out there, September can be a classic time of the year. That is, of course, in between the wet periods, but it's warm, but not too intense with the sun. The ocean still very nice to get into. Occasionally a swell for the surfers uh, and then a pretty nice sea breeze as well. And that's what it's like at the beaches. You can't get to the beaches this evening. Well, let's take a look at temperatures around all of northeast Florida and southeastern Georgia. And even for those of you that don't necessarily like the hot weather, I do think the middle 80s, especially late in the afternoon, sun is setting much earlier, a lot easier to handle than those middle 90s, especially since we don't have any thunderstorms out there. And the dew points, although higher high compared to many other areas around the nation, compared to how it's been, dew points, well, that had been in the middle and upper 70s are more like the middle 60s to near 70. Now those middle and higher dew points in the 70s are down south and that's where the wetter weather is. Doesn't mean we're completely dry here. We have a pretty wild weather pattern that is set up because of the no name storm that came ashore near Wilmington, went west to about Greenville and Asheville, and that's why we see this big kink in the weather map. Worth of some tropical air has gone all the way up into the Carolinas, but notice where we are. This does signify where the slightly drier air is and then the circulation around uh, the no named storm. Still some flow off of the Gulf of Mexico, some showers and thunderstorms there. We'll talk about that, but by far the greatest threat of any additional flooding rains will be way up north. This part of the front up toward Norfolk and then way down south over uh, South Florida. We'll talk more about our local weather in a moment. Wanted to show you what's happening in the Atlantic, the Gulf and the Caribbean. We call it the Atlantic Basin and for this time of the year, nice and quiet. The no name storm again. We've talked about how that's diminishing over the middle part of the eastern seaboard. Here that is all that's left of what remember Gordon last week. Uh, it's still out over the Atlantic. Gordon may reintensify, but again, this is not a system for you to worry about because it's going to stay over the Atlantic, even if it reintensifies and eventually head toward Europe. Now this just goes through the next seven days. If you're wondering beyond seven days, we'll begin to focus on the Caribbean and I'll talk more about that in about 20 minutes, but let's come back home Wednesday. Remember, technically it's not meteorological summer anymore, but it is still astronomical summer. Remember the vernal equinox, the first day of autumn isn't until Sunday, so we'll call it a summer like day. Lows of 70, not quite as cool as this morning. Afternoon high of 90. There will be some thunderstorms out there late in the afternoon. I think overall impacting about 40% of us because of that super moon and the rains we've had and the rising seas and those strong nor'easters with those fronts that we had. The water levels, especially in the estuary along the St. John's and all the creeks connected to it, still about two feet above normal. It's going to stay that way, folks. It's going to be trapped in there, I think for a while, so uh, we'll be watching that. But if there's any bit of good news, and I think there is, it's the fact that during the super moon in the peak three days, which is today, tomorrow and Wednesday, we don't have a strong northeast wind, not expecting widespread heavy rain. So tomorrow there will be a few thunderstorms around to Thursday, though less. We'll go back to a drier afternoon pattern, high temperatures of 88. Northeast breeze will help us. And how about Friday? At least right now, if you have plans Friday evening, especially high school football, looks like we might actually have a dry evening. Now we're going to have another slight uptick in showers on Saturday. Right now it looks like that's going to be coastal, especially south of Duval. The vernal equinox, which is the first day of autumn, looks dry. Maybe another slight uptick in showers on Monday, but overall, again, some thunderstorms tomorrow, but overall during the next seven days, that's called a long lull before whatever happens about mid next week.